Hey everybody, welcome back to the Feynman Technique. Today I'm going to be showing you how I generate a, uh, a brand new video. Not just, uh, you know, remaking one into the new format. So let's get started. So the first thing I always do is I'll open up ChatGPT. And normally ChatGPT 3.5 is good enough for the task. Occasionally I need to do some debugging with uh, version 4, um, but we'll start with 3.5. And um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Notepad in which I have a, uh, a bunch of pre-made prompts. We're going, to use, uh, we're going to use this prompt right here. I'm going to copy it into here, and you're familiar with this one if you've watched my other making of videos. It says analyze the provided video generation code to demonstrate your understanding of it. Focus on evaluating the coding style, structure, and underlying principles while disregarding the video's content. So it requires some code to analyze. So I'm going to open up my Sublime Text Editor, which is what I use for all my code editing. And then I'll just pick this, this last example I did, example six. I'll copy that into here and just have it analyze it. So it's analyzing. I'm not going to read this entire thing. Feel free to. Um, pause the video and check it out if you want to see what it's actually saying here. But it's it's done analyzing it. And now uh, I'm going to feed it this prompt. Um, it says, I want to create more content blocks for it. Uh, not really more. Basically, these are going to be brand new uh, content blocks for a, a different video. But it doesn't know. I will provide you with an explanation and an equation line from which to generate each new block. Only generate the code for the block without any additional commentary. Don't rewrite, rewrite the entire code. Additionally, if you need to combine latex and text in an explanation, here's an example of how it's done. I had to do that because it often messes that up. If I try to uh, put latex in combination with just plain old text it really it gets it wrong a lot of the time so i had to provide an example of how it's done and it says also if i provide multiple blocks create please create each of them in a separate code box in the same response do not say anything just create the code <laughs> do you understand what i mean? I, I like that that all right yeah, it, it does this a lot. ChatGPT3 is not really good. Um, some reason it it actually created um, some code for me, even though typically said I didn't want it to do that yet because I, I haven't provided it. So I'm going to say I have provided any explanation. They are generating apologies. Please provide the explanations and equations. Generate the code, the code accordingly. Okay, so now comes the part where I'm going to copy and paste all my explanation and equation lines. And I, I copy and paste them directly from Desmond. So let's go ahead and open up. Actually, going to split this screen. There is right and this. Open up Desmos, and let's open up. This is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be uh, deriving infinite sum uh, representation of the cotangent. All right, and this is it. This is explanation line, equation line, equation line, equation line. So let's just see how well it does if I copy the, oh, this is, this is the title. Be my title, adding the infinite sum. So let's start copying and pasting uh, this stuff. In. We'll see, I'll tab over to ChatGPT, paste it in there. Copy that and paste it in. So uh, let's just see if it understands. 
that this is an equation, uh, an explanation line followed by the equation. And let's see what. Okay, so. No, did not. I want. Word or. See if it understands it. Today we will be deriving an infinite representation cotangent. Cotangent, actually, enough. We will be starting with the representation of the sign derived as part of the video titled The Sum of the Reciprocals of the Squares. And then hopefully, aha! So here's my first mistake. I forgot to change all these products from one to a thousand, which is. In order to to act, to have it actually graph something like that, you, you can't put in infinity. But I'm going to have to change it. I don't want to leave it as 1,000 in my. What I what I mean is it will not um it will not actually graph this function one. I if I copy this down here, um it it doesn't do any doesn't understand this infinity. So that's why I need to. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, change all these to infinities and I'll be right. So I changed all of those n going from one to a thousand. So now let's, uh, let's copy this. We're into chat GPT. See if it gets it right. Well, I was technically the one that didn't get it right last time. It did what I what I told it to. So let's go ahead and copy this. Well, actually, no. First, let's uh, create a new script. Uh, basically, copying this old one mostly, except for the uh, content, which I will delete. Um, also, I'll change the name up here. This is example six. I'm going to call this uh, call this sum or cotangent. That's pretty much what it is. And then uh, I control S. I'll save this. Um, Now let's uh, go back to ChatGPT. Copy this content block code to here. Just see if this will give us something. So I'm going to hit Control S. I'm going to open up my uh, goes uh, go to the to the appropriate direction directory. I will be right back. Apparently, I can't pause from within the uh, command prompt, so you'll just have to watch me. All right, so uh, uh, it's, it's, and then reach. Now I should be able to cycle through my former commands. So this was sum or cotan. Everything good. So let's just see if this gives us. And by the way, if I hadn't told you already, I also generated this command right here with Chachi. It's telling it what I. like it's going to produce a workable video so let's go over and some let's see if this produced obviously the title is not going to be they will be deriving 
so looks like uh, it cut off the bottom of that, and that's due to this big, long explanation. That... So we're going to need to change the... Um, the scale size for the explanation. This is how I do my code. Looks like it says explanation scale and equation scale. The equation scale is actually but we're going to bump this down to let's try six point or point six five. Save that and recompile it and see if that gives us something. Mm, no, it's uh I might need to shorten that a little bit. Or I, I suppose I could also make this equation a little bit smaller, but no. I think I'm just going to shorten that explanation length. It doesn't need to. All right, what can I take out? I don't need this oddly enough. Let's just say you will start. We will start with the infinite product representation for the sign. And then maybe I'll put the part about where you can find a link to the video where I derive that in the next uh, explanation. So let's just try this. Close that out. Copy this. T. There's our new explanation line. Here's our equation line. This. Suppose I didn't need to do that. I could have literally just come up here and uh and changed it myself in here since the equation was not going to change. That was really uh unnecessary of me. Alright. See what this does. All right. Perfect. Okay. All right. So that worked. Now, um, let's go ahead and Used to multiple monitors. Uh, okay, here we go. All right, from here we take the natural log on both sides. Well, let's uh, I'm gonna directly edit this and say. I really want you guys to be, I want, I want the viewers to know where they can find that derivation of the infinite product for psi. Don't already. Video. So. So we'll go over here and it's like it is actually so tab. S 
see if that fits. No, it does not. So, not sure what the reason for that is. Um, but I'll fix it very easily like this. Start starting with the infinite product representation of the find function. Gonna have to go back to the original one. So I think what I'll do. Let's get rid of this oddly enough. Don't need that. starting. Just say we start. I'm trying to get rid of characters here. <laughs> start with the infinite product representation from derived in my. Video titled this all bit. All right. Let's see how this goes. Never spent so long on the first block before. Hopefully, the rest of the blocks just fall into place. But it's good. I, I like to. I, I wanted. To, I wanted to show you my. Uh, the process for how I work out all the bugs in my... Okay, almost. It's just cutting off a little tiny bit at the bottom there. Now, do I want to... Is there a green line down? I don't like that. Okay. I think I'll just, I'll shrink the equation just slightly. And I think we should be, so go to the scale and let's make it 0.9. That should be just a, save it. Perfect. Just barely fits, fits, which is exactly what I'm after. I have to fill up as much space as possible, but still, that's perfect. All right. So now let's uh, let's give it some more uh, stuff to do. Let's go over in Esmos and T. Okay, so from here we take the natural log on both. Explanation. Equation is this. Let's see if it can handle doing multiple blocks at once. I'm separating the blocks by a single line that will help it um, decide which one, uh, you know, what, where to divide the blocks, help it separate. Sometimes ChatGPT is very good at, um, 
interpreting what you want it to do. Sometimes it's not. And I think I need to write in here since this is just an explanation line. Um, I say, equation. Let's see what let's let's see if this it's do all in separate blocks. Actually, what I want to do. And it even did the last block. It um, it interpreted. I said there is no equation in this correctly equation, but it put a blank on exactly what I. Want. So let's let's uh just start copying this over into my code here. So we go copy. Paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Paste. Should be it. So I will save my video. Let's see. First. I used to get a whole lot of errors. This used to be a very, very frustrating process for me. Um, but I've refined my prompts. So that chat GPT knows it gets it right most of the time. As you can see, that there was there were a couple slip ups. Um, I've tried to get it to automatically scale the equations and um, explanations correctly so that I don't have to manually adjust them. Um, I've not been successful with that so far. If I have some time, like an entire day, I might uh, try to rework that so that it gets it right the first time every time. Let's just see what this produced. I'll probably still have to make some more adjustments. Sorry. Right. Uh, okay, of course I need to change that title. I'm gonna before we even continue, I'm going to do that because I have oftentimes uh done the entire like 1080p 60 frames per second uh, uh, version and then realized at the very end, after it was all compiled and the music was put in there, that I had not changed the need to do. All right, so change the following title. What do I want the title? Um, I already can. Finding the infinite sum. That, that's good. I don't need there. Now it says change the following title to that, so I actually need to give it a title to change. Be this title. All right, so hopefully I can just copy and paste this title right there, and it will, let's see if it, good product, but. Okay, so just make sure this is saved, and prompt, and video. Good.
See what it gives us. The infinite. Wait, what did that title say? Or come to I wanna so close to being no that that's fine. Here we take the natural log on both sides. And we notice that we can use the same property to change the natural log of the sum of the derivative on both. Take the derivative by term sum. Or simply cotangent. Right. We've already derived the sum, but then we go a little bit further. We express in multiple different ways. Partial fraction decomposition to just break up that, that sum and fraction two different sums. Or to give that. Or this is my favorite one. We can go even further by combining these sums and express it as a single sum over the real. Okay, another mistake. So this was supposed to be a single sum over the real numbers. Um, you'll notice that my sum notation does not reflect that. That should say n is equal to negative infinity. So let's go ahead and change that. Hmm. All right, so I need to redo this. Or going to place will be just so that I can compile these more quickly. I'm going to go ahead and out these box so I can. Single sum over the real. That is true, by the way. And I process, at least the mathematical process, sense to you. Um, all right, so that is a working script. Uh, but now, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go back into ChatGPT. And this is the, this is the part. Um, This is the uh, part where I I'm going to let it check my work and see if there's anything maybe that it can think to add to make things a little bit more. I'm going to use this math G, one of the various GPTs uh, available full version. I'm going to say this. And it's on him. T. 
Kim. Also, thank God for uh, for spell correct. Analyze the following man in offer suggestions on. You are also check the map for factual. I just want to make sure there's nothing in here. False. I don't think there is, but I am. Um, all right. Well, let's just see what it thinks. Random code you've shared provides a step by step derivation of an infinite sum representation for cotangent using product representation of a sophisticated. Oh, Lush, an educational script designed to visually demonstrate a complex concept. Here are some suggestions. Visual aids now. Simplify the text. The explanation text is quite dense. Breaking it down into simpler, shorter sentences can help. Okay, that might be cool. Wow, let's see if it can do that. Interactive elements, if possible. Active oh, consistency doesn't take sure the consistency. Okay, okay, correct, correct, accurately used. Okay. Okay, great. So basically, it's it's all correct. There are some minor improvements I can make. All right, I just want to see. I want to see. Good. All. Getting all. Yes. I said yes. Right. Yes. Two. See what you but you are rewrite all the con rewrite all the content blocks, keeping all equations exactly as they are, but implementing your suggestion to simple. Okay, so it's not doing it. Code box. Did. Hmm. Maybe I'll use these. Let's see. It's not getting it right. No. Well, see, it's not providing a, uh, not scaling it.
them aren't Nope. Okay. So it's, it's not doing a good job, but I don't need it to. Um, everything is, uh, everything is correct. Um, well, let me try one here. I just give it the, not the entire. You offered a gift for that. So. Mm -hmm. See what it does. Oh, hey, there we go. It may have even right. I don't like the flowery, flowery, fluffy language it's using. Dive into and it's um for cotan like my videos worded that way that it it sounds like an AI wrote it. I'm gonna say mostly good, but don't or published. I'll just it as close. Closely mirroring the original contents, driving the in. I want to see if it gives us an actual working list. Right. Let's copy 
all of it. So uh, I'll edit, paste in. Driving the like starting at work. Say today. Will be get some starting with this. Infinite product of the find value. Get that word again. So then it gives us, hopefully, it gives us the uh, product for the sign. And taking the natural log on both sides. No, I'm just going to say taking the natural. Both side gives next next apply the law. Simple. No, I'm not going to say too simple. I'm just leave it at that. Leave it. Apply that law. No, oh, that's it. That's really it. We're going to bring the log of a product into the sum of logs. Next. Bring the log of log of a product into the sum of logs. Us. Right. Okay. Next, converting the log of product. Okay. Differentiating both sides. That's it, just differentiating on both sides. Or how about next we differentiate? In, then. Well. Using action addition. Finding the sums, build sum over the real. Finally, find single sum, all numbers. Derivation with LC. 
There we go. All right, yeah, I'll keep that. I'll let it keep a little bit of its own words. Thanks, ChatGP. Save that, and oh, I should have tested this first. Let's see if this actually produces the video. I could gives us a little errors. Looks like it's going to be okay. Ooh, this is a long video. And we're not done yet either. All right. Let's see. Finding the infinite sum. All right, that works. Oh, no. They will be deriving the infinite sum for cotangent x, starting with the infinite product of the sine function. I need that apostrophe s. Get rid of that. Taking the natural log on both sides. Mm -hmm. Actually apply the property natural log A. Next, converting the log of a product into the sum of logs, we have differential. Simplifying. You know what? I want to. I'm just going to change that simplifying the result. I'm just going to change it to or simply. Or simply. I'm not really simplifying the result. Just saying cosine x over sine x. Using partial fraction decomposition or find these single sum of. Yeah. So, short video. But I think I think this will work. Now all I have to do is uh, is add some music, which I believe I've showed you the process on how I do that. So uh, you guys should see this actual video coming out in three or four days. I have some other ones coming. Um, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we'll see you next time.